So this instrument was made for me about 10 years ago. Um, one of the last instruments uh, that uh, was made by John McCann, um, who sadly has uh, stopped making, he's, re he's retired um, finally. But cornet making was his second career after, after many years in, in the CIA. Uh, and he was posted uh, in Germany in the 1970s. And, and uh, during his time in, in Europe, he uh, spent his spare time uh, in mu many museum collections um, of, of, um, of historical instruments, uh, making very careful measurements and, and drawings and so on of the old instruments. And, and, and the, the, the result of um, uh, those many years of research uh, is a whole series of, of wonderful instruments that he made for, for me and, and other players. Um, <clears throat> so the instrument is made of wood. It's made of box wood bound in leather. And the mouthpiece, uh, it's um, like a, a small, very small uh, trumpet mouthpiece. Um, this particular mouthpiece is uh, an antique ivory mouthpiece, um, so it predates the, the ivory um, ban. Of course, ivory is uh, a difficult material now to, 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 to get hold of, and um, you know, it obviously comes with certain sort of moral and ethical uh, issues, and certain practical issues if we want to travel with, with this kind of material, um, particularly outside of the, of the EU, um, and particularly if we want to travel to, to the United States. So, so we have a bit of a problem if if uh, we have uh, an, instru an instrument or a uh, part of an instrument made of this kind of material. So I've been working with colleagues in the engineering department uh, at my university to produce 3D printed alternatives to, uh, to ivory. And uh, this mouthpiece is actually made of sterling silver and it's cast from a 3D printed wax mold. Um, <clears throat> and I'm pretty pleased with this as, a, as an alternative. Maybe I'll just play you a few notes. <laughs> 